fireworks. It's the festival of the Three Kings or something. Explorers have walked six kilometers from the marina to the very end of the city of Palma to see, well, big guns, big ones. Yeah, that wind was good. This is why we're not at sea today. We're here on the Tuesday because that wind is going to blow all day today. It gets the sea up to meters outside four and a half and then it dies off tonight at 10 11 o'clock and then but the sea stays up to two and a half meters tomorrow so we're going to wait on tuesday morning and then we're going to make the jump to ibiza back to santilaria and we begin our trip home it's a bit of a charles fort vibe to it doesn't it this obviously was originally a moat
were somebody who had soldiers as a boy. This display is just, <laughs> it's just brilliant. <sighs> You're not wearing short pants today, I'm feeling it. Leaving Palma in the pitch dark is a little more eventful than most places. That fellow just came in on front, so we held off while he passed. Going off that way. Over there you can see there's a faint glow in the sky, so that's where the sun's going to come. We're looking back at the Bay of Palma. Good day, Palma, you went brilliant. The wind here in Palma has been brutal for the last few days. It fell off yesterday but still left a big sea. So today it should be very little wind and a normal sea. By normal I mean one, one and a half meters sea. And of course we're going to work our way out of the bay backwards past Palma Nova, Magaluf, Port Alvels, all the ones we saw on the way. And then across the sea to Ibiza. past 11. We left uh, Mallorca this morning at left the Bay of Palma at the marina at 10 past 7. We're not quite halfway yet but we're getting the edge of a bit of a wind. It's a bit of a southerly. So we have our sails out. We're just waiting for it to fill in a bit. Motor sailing at the moment. We're uh, not quite halfway between Mallorca and Ibiza but we're not far off it. Maybe another half hour or so. And uh, we just saw a big dolphin, a couple actually. The ones just swam past the boat. Nothing exciting, 
got them on camera, but they were starting to fall behind as we did. They were moving very slowly. They were very relaxed looking. And so we have Mallorca done. In actual fact, we have we have our Balearic Islands experience nearly over because we're going back to Ibiza. Of course, we'll be a couple of days in Ibiza. We're going back to Santa Eulalia. Then we're going to skip around tomorrow to, uh, to uh, San Antonio. Plan. And we'll be stuck there maybe for a couple of nights and then maybe Saturday back to the mainland. And then we'll head off down the coast. We had a ball, didn't we? Hammer was brilliant. That was quite a city. Brilliant. And we rented a car. And we did a trip around the island, so we went to see uh, we went to see Palmanova, Magaluf, Santa Panza, we went to Puerto Polenza, Alcudia, Puerto Colom, and a couple of places in between on the way. And we had a ball, New Year's Eve, in Hogan's, in Palma, Irish bar, Hogan's. Great crack. We had a live band and all that. We had a bit of dinner there, and it was just fantastic. Palma Town, they had the Festival of the Three Kings. It's like a mini St. Patrick's Day parade. And it was a bit of crack. Weather was good. We were there. In the end, the boat was in the marina, believe it or not, for 20 days. Even though we were in the UK for four of those. Was it five of those? Yeah, we went, we, so we arrived on the 20th, went back to the UK on the 22nd of December, and then back to Palma on the 26th, and uh, and we left today, which is the 9th of January. And again, the sun is kind of trying to come out, it's stuck in a cloud at the moment, but it's trying. We have the sails up, there's a, a light southerly at the moment, so we're getting a, a small bit of assistance, we're getting about a, a knot, two knots out of the wind, and uh, another five over the engine, so we're tipping along at seven at the moment. It's not too bad at all. And uh, yeah, so back to Eulalia, and we're gonna in there for the night. So long, Mallorca, you were brilliant. Well done. Coming home. Mallorca falls away behind. And so it turns out one of the intrepid explorers by the name of Geraldine had banged off a sneaky request to Formentera to one of the marinas there to see if they had availability for tonight. Now tonight we were meant to be going around the island of Ibiza and into San Antonio again for two nights at anchor before we jumped to the mainland. But now because Formentera have come back and said yes Mrs. C there is an available berth for you. We are now going there. <laughs> so we would have two nights in Formentera. What are you saying up there? I said, what would you do without Mississippi? I'd be lost without you, girl. That's Ibiza like town in there. And that's, uh, what was it? Was it Cala Talamanca next door where we anchored on the way up and it just didn't work out for us because it was so roly. And then we pulled out and, and uh, went off up to Eulalia. Yeah, so we've with that. We're in reverse, we've got to pass all these down. So the gap to go through between the islands is, yeah, actually, it's a good bit down yet. Another six or seven miles or so. Ibiza. That might be the last of Ibiza that we see. Well, we'll be still looking at it the next couple of days because our materials right there. That gap between the two islands is very narrow. And marked as you remember as we came up. It's turned out to be a beautiful day. The sun came out. The sea is still a bit rolly, but not too bad now. Not too bad now at all. And we're heading over there to the there's a marina really just around the corner. About a couple of miles actually, maybe south of that point. 